All right, guys. It was about uh, 10 degrees when the sun came out this morning. Uh, it was about 60 yesterday morning when I woke up to feed. It was still dark out. It was pretty windy. Cold front came through and changed there all the rain to freezing rain. Got about two tenths of freezing rain. Uh, then it changed to sleep in the afternoon and then changed to snow uh, around dark. Uh, it was actually snowing a little bit. Sleet snow mix about right before dark. But anyway, just light, moderate snow. But we had uh, some 35 mile an hour, 35 to 45 mile an hour wind gusts. So it blew all the snow into all the low spots. And the driveway to get back here is kind of it's kind of low, so it all blew across the fields and filled in the driveway. So I took the skid steer this morning early and uh, cleaned it out. I just use my truck, and I usually bust through all them snow drifts. I usually know about how deep it is. I've done it before. But anyway, uh, <coughs> the cows that were fat, we had them on hay in the back here. And... Uh, they're on the lot right now eating silage. We're giving them a little extra because it's the cold rain seems like it really makes them burn a lot more energy, it seems like. And uh, they're doing pretty good. Um, what, three days ago it was 60 degrees and then it was 65 degrees and now it's going to be in the teens, so that's quite a big uh, temperature change. Uh, anyway, just, uh, it thawed out. It still froze underneath, but the top three or four inches thawed out. So you can see I'm uh, cutting a little bit of a rut. Cows they don't like standing on this stuff. So they're on the concrete. They like it up there. They're, they're kind of babied. So. Plus they're getting older. There's a lot of them cows are 10, 12 years old. So they like standing up there on a the lot. I can, but uh, this is just over up hay here. It's not really that great. Uh, we we bought it. Uh, the guy didn't do that great of a job rolling it. So it is what it is. But uh, we have all our hay in the barn at the other farm, so we just haul it over here on the wagon, and feed off of it. <coughs> I go to the other farm and put round bills out. Uh, feed salads over there. Uh, they'll be calving, they're calving a little later. They're a month after these. That's when we turn the bull in, or the bulls in, anyway. But, uh, these are set to calve. Uh, supposed to calve, start calving on the seventh. That's when we turn the bull in. So any time after that, we'll start expecting calves. Uh, they might be going a little early, but uh, I figured I hadn't done a video feeding the cows or hay, so it'd be a good idea to go ahead and do it. We feed them up here on this ridge; it's flat, and uh, they don't have all that erosion up here. It kind of lays back down through there and around the corner. There's a lot of rocks in here, so we really can't crop it. So it's a, it, it used to be a dry cow pasture. This ram belt ring, y'all can see it. It's uh, I made it uh, several years ago. Um, it's uh, made out of neck rail. We had all those. Uh, Free stalls and the freestyle barn. Uh, they weren't that old, and we had all the neck rails to keep them from uh, getting too far up in the stall where they would poop out in the, out in the alleyway. And uh, I took them all out, and uh, we got rid of all the free stalls, and I kept all that neck rail. It was galvanized. And I just made that round bell feeder out of galvanized, galvanized neck rail, and it took a pretty good while. To build it and weld it all up because galvanized you got to clean it up to weld it but uh, 
I welded it all and went over it with uh, cold spray and galvanized and uh, spray painted it again. And we've been using that for several years. I think we've bought a lot of these other round bell feeders. And I'm still using that one. Uh, it's a really good round bell feeder. It's really heavy. You gotta use the tractor loader to pick it up most of the time. But uh, at least you ain't gotta buy any and it didn't cost anything. But uh, I'd like to make another one, but I don't have enough neck rope like. But uh, I got uh, five liters of pigs. I gotta castrate them, uh, cut their umbilical cord, spray them with iodine, dock the tails, cut the needle teeth out, and uh, give them a shot of iron. I'm gonna do that today. It's a good day to do that. I'm gonna get these cows fed first. A lot colder out here for them. It's warm in there. So. Anyway, uh, it's a quick video of what's going on. And, uh, I'll have some uh, hog videos coming up here pretty soon. Thanks for watching.